30% of the time spent by programmers is spent just surfing the code. Some scientists believe that programming is one of the fastest growing occupation currently. Programming is not as easy, as it sounds. Hey, this is Mipkuneko, and today uh, we're back with a uh, basic uh, C sharp algorithm. I made this algorithm uh, a day ago, and what uh, what we have here is a line circle intercept algorithm. It finds uh, it finds the intercept between a line and a circle. I'm going to be very quick and show you guys uh, uh, the algorithm and how it works. Uh, and a bit, a, a bit uh, look into the code. Uh, here we specify the center of the circle in the x position. So let's say we want the circle in the center of the image, with, uh, which actually the image uh, in the picture box is 400 by 400. We want it a, by two, uh, in 200 by 200, uh, the center of the image. And then the radius, let's specify uh, 100. And we render out the circle. What we have here an option uh, colorful uh, we're gonna get uh, this uh, uh, a little bit here but uh, what we can do is click anywhere and create a dot and anywhere else uh, create another dot and it creates a line between these uh, two dots and it shows you with the green where uh, the line does not intersect uh, with the circle and with red it shows you where the line intersects with the circle. Now we can create as many lines in this circle and then go in a bit um, smaller circle and create another line and you can see uh, it works, the algorithm works perfectly. So what is the colorful option? The colorful actually creates on the outline of the circle exactly in the pixel. It creates um, a, a purple pixels, not actually red pixels. So you can find the outline of the circle and not just the outline you can find if, if uh, the line crosses the center but uh, we're not gonna get that uh, in here we just want it to be really quick uh, really basic algorithm uh, for this video uh, let's jump here in the call and show you uh, the basic idea the uh, here uh, we just uh, specify the points of the two dots where are they and then um, what we have here is uh, basically uh, when drawing a circle uh, we want uh, the position uh, where uh, if the circle was in a rectangle if the circle was in a rectangle or uh, in a square uh, more specific because it's not an ellipse and this algorithm will not work in ellipse I will have to show you another algorithm to work it out in ellipse, but this just works uh, in uh, w with the circle. And what it does, it uh, finds the square with the uh, with the circle inside. Not finds it, calculates actually with the radius here and uh, uh, the the point and the center minus the radius in in y and minus the radius in x. It finds the rectangle. Uh, every time you render out a new circle uh, and there's the radius circle the the actual radius what we have here is a basic uh, basic declaration of graphics here we have how it uh, finds the rectangle and how it actually fills an ellipse or draws a uh, filling ellipse with some catered blue color I don't know like just chosen that uh, for demonstration purposes uh, and then what uh, we have every time when uh, the picture box is clicked we're going to search for uh, the number of dots uh, in uh, actually here the number of dots and uh, uh, what I want to here to do is I want to show you uh, I want to tell you that uh, this uh, actually I forgot to tell you that this the whole line a circle intercept it relies on the drawing line algorithm that I have shown you uh, in my other tutorials it finds every point of the line actually creates a line and finds it finds every point lists out every point of the line and then searches out and then this algorithm helps you uh, search out is is that point in the actual in the circle so uh, let's get back um, 
here if the dots are not one that means the dots is zero could not be two uh, so uh, dots plus plus we we draw actually a circle where you click to to know where, where have you clicked and um, yeah there's point to climb these functions you you should know that if you're a beginner I would recommend uh, go checking out another uh, graphics first the graphics uh, library to see how it works and then come here uh, do some uh, basic mathematics uh, so here on the uh, second dot it creates the second dot and we have uh, dot one and dot two fills the ellipse with where the second dot is clicked and then draws the line between dot one and dot two Th this here is not in, not drawn the line uh, that uh, is actually uh, uh, the list of gets the list of uh, the lines points every point that uh, actually is on that line and then circles out through every point uh, what is basically here doing if the point is not even in that rectangle radius which not we're not searching first in the circle we're searching in that square uh, box around the circle and if it's not in there even uh, you, you don't you don't you don't care anything about el anything else you just set the pixel that uh, green color that means it draws the line green and then if it's in that square uh, in that radius then you do some calculation this is really the heart of the algorithm uh, you differentiate uh, the x positions uh, from the uh, uh, so the rectangle x position plus uh, the radius of the circle uh, that, that's uh, you you how yeah how to find the center of the circle you differentiate the center uh, x position uh, with the elem uh, the actual points exposition and then uh, what you uh, here looking the result is actually uh, Pythagorean theorem but, uh, finding a diagonal or the hypotenuse of this triangle and uh, what this will tell us is how far is the point uh, uh, how far is the distance uh, what's the distance between the point uh, the on the line actual the actual point on the line and the uh, and from the center and when we find that distance we can uh, here I did the colorful check for the deck checkbox one is actually the colorful checkbox colorful check yeah uh, and uh, if that's checked or if it's not checked uh, it doesn't matter it's the same thing uh, you if the result is actually the radius of the circle you know that it's actually lying on the outline of the circle and then you set up uh, to color purple which we cannot see because it's too the there's uh, uh, the pixels are too um, too small to see and then uh, what we have if it's uh, smaller than the radius that means it's lying inside of the circle we say that with red we, we color that with red or else that means it's outside there's no intercept here and we uh, color that with green we set that pixel to green uh, and we don't draw any lines uh, from the graphics drawing algorithm you can do this without the graphics drawing algorithm even this algorithm is uh, relying on itself and then uh, what we have is if it's not uh, checked uh, that box we do the same just we look uh, out if it's uh, equal or smaller to, to, to the radius of the circle and with red or there's no intercept with green that's uh, basically it the whole algorithm I did it for like uh, half an hour or so just setting up that and uh, like it's pretty easy uh, you, you don't have to draw the circle you you just have to uh, get the points from the circle uh, f uh, for ev to, for the algorithm to work. I will have this uh, right on my GitHub, so you can uh, go check out here this algorithm. I have it in the Chasing Cursor game. I did this on Twitch.tv/slash/mitkunekov. You can check out uh, there. And what we have here is um, the line uh, in the line drawing algorithm uh, repository on my github you can see uh, the chasing the chasing the cursor game and the line uh, circle intercept and you can check out 
this here is uh, immediately the algorithm that we're talking it's not mine algorithm uh, I don't uh, I don't know the guy who did it uh, but big credit to him uh, it's just differentiating like some kind I don't I, I don't get in this stuff I just uh, show you the algorithm and how you can use it thanks for watching guys uh, see you uh, see you soon